This is Neil from Digital Canvas. Welcome to part three of the Jessica Alba as Navi. So what I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to smooth out her forehead just a bit more before I add in the lighting effects here. I, I want something kind of dramatic for the lighting and uh, make sure I take off soft light first, go back to normal. Just grabbing a color here, I'm just kind of brushing over They have uh, almost flat, and I don't want to change, you know, the way she looks too much either. But you know, they have almost like flat. That's too much. I'm trying to get rid of this a little bit. I don't want it too pronounced. There we go. And then I'm going to add just some sharp. Okay. Right, so now I'm going to add some soft light. So pick my soft brush here. Big soft brush. If you have my brushes, then you just, you know, you just pick my big soft brush and then you're there. Let's see here. We'll go to uh, soft light. Actually, I'm going to go to my brush presets over here. And I can just choose my soft light rather than have to do it every time. It has all the settings the way I want it. But you can see the settings up here. And so I'm thinking about, should I kind of do this kind of, or make it like the other one, I'm thinking maybe some like yellow light hitting it from over here. So I can have like yellow light hitting from this side. I don't want too much yellow, but a little bit of yellow. I don't even know if I'm going to do anything down there with her all that part of her body. I think I might just stick with her face. I'm going to add a little bit of green, kind of like this green blue color over here. This is just going to be kind of, because you know when, when yellow hits blue, it kind of turns kind of a green blue color. And I just want that to be only on some parts. And then I'm thinking on this side, Maybe um, let's see what a little bit of pink highlights. Just a, just a bit to add some variation. No, that's too much. So I think that's like that, which is just a little bit, not much at all. Okay, I'm gonna go in and erase because I have, remember I still have the other color underneath the eyes, so I'm going to erase the eyes before I have that color underneath. And I'm thinking, you know, I probably didn't make her eye, the inside of her eyes quite big enough, so I can change that really quick. I'm going to go to this layer underneath. And let's see here. Let's go to Free Transform under Edit hold down the shift key. Let's just kind of pull that out. Notice it's underneath the other layer, so that's why it's uh, like that, which is cool. Let's go ahead and grab this side over here then. Notice I didn't even make a copy of it. I'm just uh, transforming it, and since it's underneath, coming out how I need it to. Make a, mm, do I still need that layer down? No, I don't think I need that layer down there anymore. So I'm going to go to Filter. Uh, actually, let's go to Adjustments, Levels first. I want to add more brightness to the eyes. Then I'll go to Image, Adjustments, and I think I'll try Color Balance first. Highlights, Yellow. And then let's go to, actually that's mid-tones. Then let's go to highlight yellow as well. Shadows, maybe green. Just add a little bit of green to the eyes. Something like so. And then I can go in and free paint if I wanted to. Or I can just go and grab the eyes offline and, and steal those. That's always an option. Saves a lot of time, if anything. 
but let me go back to my normal brush here, normal brush settings rather, which is 100%. And I'm using a hard, I'm using my pin brush. And actually I need to do this on this layer. Notice I'm, I'm not using black, I'm using like a really dark blue to keep with the uh, Something I could add this kind of greenish color like that, and then I can add this kind of orangish color. And really it just depends on how detailed you want to get with your eyes. You can get really detailed and uh, get like photorealism, you know, using different techniques. But uh, I'm going to add more yellow on this side. Maybe I should use a slightly smaller brush. Bring that green color in there a little bit. I'm going to add more of these uh, light shades as it's really glossy eyes. And then actually I'm going to stick with my brush. I'm going to use my Dodge brush. So I have my tool presets over here and uh, they come with my brushes as well. But you can see the settings on the top, color dodge, 21% opacity. So like I said, I could go through and add a whole bunch more detail to our eyes if I wanted to, but I don't think I want to. Right, so one more time again. Actually, I'm going to get that with my normal brush. I'm going to go to image adjustments and color balance, and I just want to add a little more of this kind of color back into her. I'm going to make a copy of this layer. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. Just drag the middle down a bit like so. And then go to Image, or Layer, Layer Mask, and we'll go to Hide All. I'm going to grab a soft brush. And then I'm going to just change one thing on it. I'm going to add in Shape Dynamics, make sure it's set to Pin Pressure. And I'm just going to kind of make up my own shapes, you know, because I know that they're following cat-like sh uh, structures. So I just want something similar to that. And also, I, I forgot to do this. I need to take off the other dynamics. And under Shape Dynamics, I'm going to just go like that. This way I get a, it's like a softer brush, so it's not going to be totally hard edged, but I have control over the size of the brush. And uh, I took off the ability to work in the opacity, because I didn't want that with pen pressure. And they don't have eyebrows, but the women, or at least the main girl has the stripes like that. Maybe I add just two little stripes here, like a tiger. It doesn't really matter, you know, you're making up your own Navi, so you can really do whatever the hell you want. Just kind of follow the idea of cat, and you're good to go. Don't worry, what we're going to do in just a second here, after we have these uh, stripes, is we're going to get rid of some of it. Some of it, you'll see what I mean. Let's say she has like a big stripe on her neck. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing all that down there anyway, so I don't care what it looks like. Now I'm going to grab the black color and pick my other soft brush. And I'm just going to erase some of the edges there. Notice that's usually what it looks like. And voila. So it's starting to look good. I should probably save this. Alright, so that ends this part. We're getting close to being done. Remember to save often because it really sucks when your computer freezes or something and then you lose all the work you did. And what a bummer that is. So just always remember to save often. Right, so please rate, subscribe, and comment because I love comments. Comments are cool. All of us YouTubers love comments. So 
comment, damn it. No, just kidding. You don't have to, but it'd be cool if you do.